Hi guys, this is Brittany from Imagine This, a music and art studio for both children and adults. And today we are going over Art One's lesson and we will be making 3D flowers. Now we will be providing you with five different plates. I think that's all within the packet, but you will need some scissors, a pencil, a paintbrush, a paper towel or just a towel to wipe off excess paint, markers, some glue, cup of water, and then I'm not sure if I already mentioned this, but paint. All right, and before we begin, this craft can be a little tricky, but just like our good friend Bob Ross once said, there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do when creating this 3D flower shape is take your five or four different plates and you're going to need to cut out four or five different sizes of flowers. Now, my rule of thumb is I like to start with the smallest because that gives me an idea of what the bigger ones are going to look like. So your smallest flower should have five petals. And how you're going to do this is you're going to take your plate, grab a pencil, marker, whatever drawing utensil you would like, and you're going to draw out the flower in the center of your plate with five petals. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just a really nice, cute flower. So I have this right here, and then you would want to cut this out so it looks a little bit like this. And then after that, what you are going to do is you're just going to gradually get bigger until you have at least four sets of flowers. Now we give you five plates just in case there's a little mess up, but it's okay. So I have this flower. I would cut that out and I would get this shape. And as I get bigger, I'm going to start adding petals as well. This one I didn't exactly follow that rule, so it's okay if you have five petals, but you're going to get a little bigger. So instead of just saying in the center of the plate, I'm going to start going a bit upward as well. I'm just gonna go across the rim, drawing my flower with five or six petals. I would recommend doing at least one more than your smallest petal. Just squeeze one more in there. And then you have your next flower. And then you want to go even bigger than that. Maybe add two more petals onto this next one. And you will have this flower. This flower has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven petals. So you can add one or two more onto that. Now this one almost goes all the way up to the rim. But make sure whenever you cut out your flowers, you do nice, deep cuts, that way the flowers can fold easily like a bud. All right, and so once you have that all drawn out, you'll go on to the very last flower. Now this one has very little cuts in it, and there's so many more petals than what was on our last one. So this one, you can literally just take your scissors if you want and just do little V shapes to cut in between. But other than that, once you have all these shapes cut out, which will take some time, so be patient with yourself, be careful, know where your fingers are when you're cutting. But once you have all your flowers drawn out, what you're going to do is you're going to cut them out of the paper plate. Now, once they're all cut out, the bottom two, the biggest two, are gonna be folded pretty well because they are up on the lip of the plate. But these smaller two are going to need a little more help because instead of being curved like this, they're going to be pretty flat. So what I want you to do is once you have your shape all cut out, what you're going to do is you're going to gently fold in using your thumb to sort of fold the petals towards the center. And if you want to, you can even grab all the petals in your hands like this and fold it in like a bowl. Or maybe it's about to blossom out into the beautiful flower that it is. But just fold it in, and by doing this, it helps the flower pop up and make it three-dimensional. Now I'm going to do this again with my slightly bigger flower, just curling all the petals in with my hand, making a bowl shape. Just crunch it in there. It's okay if it folds. And then I'm going to release it, and there you go. It popped up a lot more. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to paint each and every one of these flowers. So I'm just going to do that really quick and you can use 
paints or you can use markers because paper plates work well with markers as well and it's a little bit cleaner. So I'm just going to do that really quick and I'll get right back to you. Now remember the butterfly bath as you're painting because it's very important unless you want to mix colors to try and keep your colors clean. But if you want to mix colors and have sort of a fun, more abstract flower, go right ahead. But just remember, if you want nice, clean colors and you don't want them blending together, do the butterfly bath, taking your brush to the bottom and gently brushing it back and forth against the bottom of the cup. I'm going to keep painting. So this is going to take me a little while, so just give me a few seconds. And advice for the parents, if you don't want to get any of this paint, Onto your table, you can do the marker solution or just lay down another piece of paper but underneath the flowers that they're painting. So there I have my first flower. I'll probably have to re-scrunch it, but for now I'm going to put it to the side to dry. On to the next one. Now when painting these, we want to paint it one side at a time. So right now just paint the inside of your flower, but later on we are going to want to paint the outer rim of the flower as well. But for now, just focus on the inside. We don't want both sides to be wet because if the other side's wet and it's drying, it's possible that it could stick to the counter or the table you're working on. So just focus on one at a time. I'm just doing this very quick, but please take your time, have fun, mix the different colors together, see what you can get. I'm getting some purple right now with some blue and reds. So it looks really nice and cool. Right, so then I have my next flower. I'm just gonna keep going until all my flowers are covered. So now I have finished painting all of my flowers. Now this is the bottom layer. The next layer above that one, just a little bit smaller and so on. But wait until they are dry to do this next part because if it's still wet, it could get really, really messy. But what you're going to do once all of your plates are dry and all your flowers are ready to be put together, what you're going to do is grab the bottom layer, which is your biggest flower. You're going to put that down on the table. Then you're going to grab your next biggest flower. And the paint may have flattened it just a little bit. So we're going to do that budding motion I showed you earlier, where we just cup all the flowers and gently fold them in like a bud of a flower that's ready to blossom. We'll bring this one forward too. And it should help it pop up a lot more. Just going to hold it for a few seconds and then let it go. That helps it bring it up so much more, like a little bowl. And then I'm going to grab my glue and I'm going to put a little glue down where my next flower is going to go. Now, if you really want it to dry quickly, you can use hot glue as well. But regular glue should work just as fine. You just have to be a little more patient with it. So I'm going to set the next flower right in the center. I'm going to fluff up some of those petals just a bit more. If the glue is still really wet, it's going to slip and slide around, so just be patient. Take your time. Maybe fluff the petals up later. All right, and then I'll grab the next smallest layer, which is this flower right here. Now it flattened down again, so I'm going to just do that budding motion I showed you earlier. Just hold it for a few seconds, like a little bowl, then release. And we're going to put glue down in the center again and basically repeat these steps until all of our layers are in our flower. I'm just repeating this step once more on the very last flower, butting it up into a little bowl, and then releasing it, putting some glue down. right in the center, and then gently placing that final flower in the middle, pressing down slightly to make sure that stays. And now if you want to, you can also just do little dots in the center to represent the little pollen points. But other than that, there is your 3D flower. Now you'll notice there'll be some white on the side, so if you want as an additional step at the end, once it's all nice and dry, you can go in with markers or paint and color the sides of the petals as well. That way the color is all around the flower. But other than that, this is our flower for today. I hope you had fun and we'd love to see your pictures. Have a good day.